my, my, my job is fairly easy. I don't have anything to sell to you. I have to just take you through some proceedings of our uh, research report on um, what's working well with India marketeers in terms of digital technologies, channels, and what's coming up in the next 12 months. So I'll take you through some of the highlights of the research report, and I'll leave about, uh, I've been given 10 minutes. I'll leave about last two, or three, two to three minutes for your questions and answers. A copy of the research report is available to you in detail. It's got about 36 pages, 25 plus charts. I'll not take you through all of them, but I'll set the context in terms of what's happening. Uh, this is a great time to be a retailer or a retail brand in 2018. So some of the last few years of challenges around government policy, around economy, have eased off. If you look at the data around you, these are all headlines from June 2018 or May 2018. If you all see around you, things are changing very fast. So if you're in the retail space, you've gone through the tough times, you're now preparing for the bright side of the lift of the consumer stuff. So if you look at all of this, it points to a buoyancy in retail, and that's shifting differently. In that context, what role does technology have to play? I'd like to take you through some of those highlights of the research report. Uh, my company is in the space of enterprise messaging. We'll discuss this later, but I'm happy to take your questions later on that one. Hashtag for this uh, presentation is digital retail. So if you have your mobile phones, you can take them out, go on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and you can also get some of the content there as well, or tag your questions. I'll be happy to respond to them offline. Uh, so hashtag digital retail is our uh, hashtag for this report, and also RetechCon is the hashtag for the event. That's my brief profile in terms of my email ID and my Twitter handle. You can, of course, drop me a message post this if you have questions about, hey, Puneet, what are the good open rates for email campaigns if you're selling online in India? I'll be happy to take those questions offline as well. Uh, Value First, the company I represent, stands for enterprise messaging, and we bring brands and uh, uh, consumers together through technology interfaces uh, driving intelligent conversations. This conference is as much about intelligent retail, smart retail, so we enable some of that for companies in India. But more specifically, we have a team called Optin Research, which tracks and scans for data with India marketeers, and that's the team which has produced this report. We do about five, six editions of these reports every year, so you can get a copy whenever you're ready. They're, they're lying outside in the reception area as well. Let me take you through what's happening on uh, digital front end and why should you care about digital. The report is titled Eyeing Consumer Intelligence Retail. But this is not about data warehousing presentation. We are talking about how you can use digital interfaces, digital touch points to get to know more about your consumers. How are they buying? How are they thinking? How are they influencing online? And in that context, what role different channels play? But why are we discussing this in so much of detail in 2018? Because of these few factors. Combination of data, devices, and digital has created a perfect storm for brands today. And in that context, digital has become the currency through which you can get to know more about the consumers. It's now possible to personalize at scale. In the uh, preceding sessions, you heard about how to personalize a mailer. So a person who opens the mailer in the evening, he gets, uh, in a winter season, he gets to have a different experience. So now it is possible for you to not send the same content to everybody, but personalize at scale, thanks to digital. Uh, and also, digital media has, a, has become a currency of its own. Media spends have gone online. So smart real retail is now the reality. Brands are also shifting between O2O. So offline brands are leveraging online technology, and online brands are opening up stores to offline retail. So it's a very interesting time to be, and digital is the pivot around which this is all operating. So this is the report which covers topics like SMS, email, push alerts, notifications, uh, social media, cross-channel bots, and on the other side, it tries to answer questions like, what is the retail market in India in terms of uh, overall spend, or which is the channel-wise ROI analysis, and let me take you through many of these in a little more detail. These are some of the brands who have participated in this research outreach and have given us their ideas and feedback on what's working well for them and what are their plans for the next uh, 12 months. So the question essentially is, what role is digital marketing playing in Consumer Brand Connect in India? And how is this role of digital marketing shifting? So if you are a retail brand uh, marketeer watching this video online or in person here, how should you look at next 12 months in terms of digital technologies or digital marketing technologies to invest? The questions we've asked are the following. What is your primary marketing goal for 2018? And the number one driving factor for retail marketeers continues to be customer acquisition. Actually, we've seen year-on-year -year dip in terms of the retention score, 
So most marketeers in 2018 are gearing up for acquisition compared to last year when there was a sizable number focusing on retention because the economy wasn't that in a great shape. If you look at 2017, we asked this question, where are, how much percentage of your total marketing budget was allocated to digital marketing? And you start seeing the green pie there, that's 37%. So between 11, 37% marketeers have said, brands have said, between 11 to 30% of their marketing spend was invested in digital. It's a fairly sizable number, and that's growing at a healthy pace of 10 to 15% year on year. Which of the following were your primary online marketing activities for 2017, last 12 months? Social, website, and email marketing are the top three channels that comes out. Interesting one. For each rupee of marketing investment, which digital channel gives you the maximum investment in the revenue? And it's email is 21% and uh, uh, Facebook is 24%. Uh, so this is the split in terms of which, rupee, which investment drives maximum revenue. As a retailer, as a, as a brand investing in digital marketing, this tends to be the number one metric for you. What is the pipeline impact? My revenue growth or my margin growth? And this is where the split is. Which digital channel gives you maximum customer engagement? And interestingly, social media and email updates come to be the top two channels in this space here. Which email activities are you implementing to reduce the effects of spam complaints or inbox clutter? Uh, consumers have uh, attention issues. They, ha they have so much of time and they have so many channels to choose from. So even email time spend is reducing. In that case, as a marketeer, what are the steps you'll need to take to, to get better attention on email channel from your consumers? And number one comes to the increased personalization and targeting. This is a big challenge for India marketeers because a lot of the data is unsegmented and undifferentiated, and these are more like mailing lists and not databases. So there, there has to be investment built towards enabling this for a change. Which new tech areas do you plan to invest in 2018 or 2019? This is a question we've asked marketers in India in retail segment. And AI and bots, since morning I've at least heard about chatbots maybe what, 50 times already? And this is very different from the retail conference last year when chatbots were just emerging. In our experience, powering up chat for a chatbot for companies in India, last year was the year of POC, proof of concept for chatbot. This year, they're moving mainstream with brands in India. So chatbots is one, if you look at the top uh, 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 investment area. Cross-channel marketing automation is number two. Big data, we talked about data being the science of retail, so we, that's what one investment area also. So there's a lot of money going in. How are AI and chatbots likely to help online marketers in India for retail? And the number one has been increased sales conversion on e-commerce sites. In our experience, that's how chatbots came into uh, the functional specs for marketers on the websites. But I have pointed an arrow here. You must be wondering why this arrow. In our experience working with some 50 plus brands in India, we find that consumer insights is the number one ROI reason why chatbots are becoming successful in India. I'll give an example. Take Payback, take Royal Enfield, take GY Ayurveda. When they send you a customer satisfaction survey link through for NPS for through email or SMS, typically the response rates are sub 10%, high single digit. You power up through an AI and chatbot, a link to a chatbot's query, this goes up three, four, five times response rates. So if you are looking at consumer intelligence in retail, this is one area I would really request you to look deeply and carefully and closely. How important would the following soft skills would be? Many of you are budding digital marketeers in retail. So we asked this question, how would you like, which are the soft skills marketeers should have to rise up in the hierarchy in digital marketing fraternity in retail? And the number one reason is ability to embrace change. Number one soft skill needed. It's not about which platform, which technology, interesting. With that, let me leave you with my coordinates. I have one more minute to go. If you have any questions, I can take that. Or I'll give you one minute back to your time. Um, and uh, these are my coordinates. I wish you all the best for your retail marketing experience in 2018, 2019. Often research.in is where you can get the download of this print copy. But you can also take this as a hard copy print as a gift from RAI at this conference. And our hashtag for this is uh, 
digital retail. So if you've enjoyed this little interaction, you can share it online, or if you have specific questions, you can post them online, and my team and I will be happy to respond back to your queries. With that, let me uh, close it here. Thank you so much.